What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sega back with another video. We're about to react to Do All White People Think the Same? Ah, <sighs> about the race. <laughs> yeah, so we were about to react to that. So let's check it out. Just like a weird holiday to be dressing up as anybody else's culture. You can say the same thing about any costume. Are you going to tell a six-year-old girl that she can't dress up like a pirate because she doesn't know the history of pirates? Like, oh, that's very difficult. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we ask them to agree or disagree with various statements about race. All right. Good, we're all technically white. Yeah. If you're from England, if you're from Australia, if you're from wherever, South Africa, you know, we all have these crazy places we come from and these people are around and we get those ideas from those people. What do y'all think? <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? I disagree. They don't have culture at all. My bad. I mean, us as a whole. <laughs> That's a white person. My bad. That's not really a culture. You can have culture. Like, I'm hella Irish obviously and that's a culture but the just being white is not a it's it's not a culture i can't relate to you just because you're white hmm. i think you can say that for any ethnicity though if we were all black could i relate to you guys if just because of the color of our skin yes because they go through very similar experiences like they'll get discriminated against and you're not getting discriminated against because of your skin color they can both relate to that but I also feel like with culture, we branch out, we try different things, we want to do different things. So maybe we've lost a little bit of our culture. Maybe we're creating a new culture. <laughs> there you go. I believe in reverse racism. Three, two, one. I'm going to let them talk and after I'm going to talk. We can explain. Okay, I'll, let us, I'll stay here. <laughs> Reverse racism is like someone being racist against you because you were white. Like, do you believe that someone can be racist against a white person? Of course. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up where it was completely like Hispanic culture. I was constantly made fun of because I was white. Oh, white people can't dance. White people look stupid. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> What? They say what? what I, mean. I just can't. Stupid, whatever. They shouldn't say white people can't dance, but I, they, they can't. They no, can't. Yeah, no, I, I can't. Just, can't. just putting that out there. But I, I mean, like, being honest, though, like, there's some mean things to me and, and more hurtful things than that. It's like a hard pill to swallow because if I turned around and said black people can't dance, I'd get hell for that. But then if someone says it's not true, we can it's somehow okay. Because you have to look at the difference of it though. And I relate to you. I grew up with all Latino or black friends. I had very few white friends. And yeah, I got made fun of for being like the white girl. I was gringa. And I didn't take offense to it because the huge part about racism is that there's hate and oppression behind it and as a white person in america i do not feel oppressed and i definitely think that we should take the log out of our own eyes before worrying about the sawdust and other people's like i totally agree with that but there is sawdust so that's kind of what just what i'm saying for me i feel like anything we do can come out racist to any other type of race but at the same time if they say something mean or racist to us that we feel is racist it kind of gets brushed off i when i think of the word racism i think more towards oppression so that's why i'm in the disagree like i'll deal with someone just being mean to me but whatever okay so yeah i believe there's reverse racism though 
I don't niggas. I I have a few of my boys. They're they're racist. Bro. They don't like white people and shit like that. You feel me? But yeah, yeah. I believe in it. But at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it's because of white people, like, people of color don't, like, I'm not sp even supposed to say to that, like, people, immigrants basically don't like um, white people, it's because of you guys, like, the oppression and stuff like that, that happened. Yeah, but it's not all like white people that are bad though. There's good white people. In order to bring us together, there is a race issue in America. And if we just avoid it altogether and pretend like it's not happening, nothing's going to change in my opinion. I kind of was thinking about the question differently because if all I'm thinking about when I meet someone is, oh, I'm white and she's not white and I'm white and she's not white, like that for me, that's like what focusing on race is. Yeah, they're never gonna be happy unless we just like, all work together and just like treat each other like each other you know like there is no race yeah and that that sounds great but it's like we're not there we're not there i feel like people who have that you know might also say like oh i don't see color or try not you know try to have that attitude i don't think that helps anybody i think we need to like to respect each other's backgrounds and like that is only gonna happen if, if we we do see color we do like appreciate everybody's differences nigga smart i like that i like that I think cultural appropriation is very real. You see all the time, like Coachella, you know, we're in LA and you see people yeah. in the Native American headdresses without knowing how important that is to Native people. Yeah, exactly. I think there's a difference between respecting the culture and completely disrespecting the culture. But then also if you want to dress up on Halloween like a, a geisha because you like the costume, you think it's a beautiful costume. That I wouldn't say is. I wouldn't do that. I think you know? if you're gonna go and dress up as a gay show without knowing the importance of it and just being like, well, this is cute, like I'm gonna put this on. And also, even if you did know the importance and you're like, I don't know, Halloween is just like a weird holiday to be dressing up as anybody else's culture. You can say the same you know? <laughs> that is true though. Respect. She can't dress up like a pirate because that. she doesn't know the history of pirates. That. Like, that's very different. Well, so it's, it's just like, that's very different. Those are those are children. <laughs> I think it's a lot about intention because I think wearing that thing at Coachella, like I feel like I would see that as that person mocking someone. Well, even if they don't intentionally mean it, it's yeah. still offensive. I mm. I, sh I should be able to say the N-word while singing along to a song. A white people. A white person. They gotta relax. They gotta relax. I know there's white people that, that are doing it like, in, like when they're alone or when they're together. But not like when there's another black person person nah you're not allowed you gotta relax you're not allowed disagree everybody what so yo she got well, the reason i'm at somewhat disagree is because a lot of my favorite rappers use it frequently like if i'm listening to my favorite childish gambino song which it drops it like a hundred right, times right. Know, so you know that the car, it's, like, uh, uh, it's like, like i'm not sitting there thinking all these horrible things about black people and i'm like it's just in the song and when i'm singing it comes out there's like two different forms of the word there can understand that because yo <laughs> you vibing you're in the vibe i can understand that but you, you shouldn't no you have to train yourself to not sit her with an er and with an a and like with my friends they're like oh you can say it with an a like that won't hurt my feelings That's what people told me. but also like even when I'm you gotta relax you cannot see it even with the a 
Right? You cannot say it with the like hard R and you cannot say it with the A. Fuck you talking about. The car by myself, like I still feel like it's not my place. Maybe I'll like whisper it like with an A at the end, you know, like from by myself, but like out of the respect. If you by yourself, yeah. That you know I can do anything about it. But around other like people around you, like black people and stuff, you gotta relax. Fuck out of here. I just think it's more appropriate not to say it at all. Do you guys think rappers should stop putting it in their right. songs? No. I feel like if they're African American, I think it's wrong though. Why? I don't think it's wrong because the history of the N word come, you know, slave owners would call black people as the N word with the hard R at the end. If black people want to take that word and claim it as their own and claim that that painful history and like be like f you like i'm gonna claim this word i think they should be allowed to do that i don't think as a white person i have that right to take a word that was derogatory towards them they should 100 percent have the right but, to do that but do you think it's okay for a white person <laughs> i like this girl yo this girl yo big up to this girl i fuck with this girl yo she wanna have like a lot of like you know <laughs> black boyfriend <laughs> Dude, that's where that? we're like all on the fence. It's like I feel like it's, we're, it's just it's a word. Actually, no, I don't think so. Like uh, yeah. my friend, basically, and like just like she said, they want to take black that back from probably. its horrible origins, and I'm totally fine with that. But as, as a white person, you can't say that word without a uh, feeling a certain way. Yeah, so but I have that's a question. If you if they didn't put it in their songs, you wouldn't say it, right? No, yeah, so are they causing people to say that word more often? Because she wouldn't say it. It's if it not wasn't. white people's place to tell them what they can and cannot use. You so. feel me? <laughs> Fuck you talking about. Yes, they do. They do. Everybody was like strongly agree. Fuck you talking about. Strongly agree. Strongly agree. Three, two, one. Ads. Someone disagree? It's so sad to say, because I never say it out loud, but it's the truth, is like, getting pulled over by the police, I always feel like I have a little bit of a one-up, yeah. because I'm white, because I'm a woman. And I feel so bad that that's the truth, but this is a real thing and it's unfortunate. Mm. For me, as an individual, I feel like I'm not privileged. Sure, like, white people background came from, like, being higher up on the scale, but I've gone through really hard things before. You know, I don't feel like I'm superior over other people. So as an individual, I don't... <laughs> it was sorry. I don't, I don't mean to laugh. And you are, I really don't know what she went through. She probably went through a lot. But considered to a black person, bro, I really doubt it. You got to relax. Start to relax. I'm privileged. I think privileged, I guess, I don't really think that I'm above other people. I just think that naturally I'm treated differently. Yeah, it's like yeah. perception. That's it's just perceptions. Yeah, I think that's a huge mis misconception. I have privilege that i didn't ask for it's just society sees me as like the standard for whatever reason and because of that i get treated differently and um white privilege you know like you said it's not about you move? That society sees uh, me okay. as like the standard yeah, for move. whatever reason Stupid. and because of that i get treated differently and um white privilege you know like you said it's not about what you've gone through or what you experience. It's a hundred percent how the world sees me. I am proud to be what? Three, two, one. I'm just gonna be in the middle. Yeah, can there be a middle? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Why he seems so uncomfortable? Yo, look at him. This dude, he looks so uncomfortable. I don't. I almost went there too. It's like I think like guiltily, like 
I'm like happy that I'm not oppressed, but I'm not proud of like things people have done in the past. When I when I think of so you understand what she just said. Basically, she said that she, she basically said that she's she's proud to be white, and so she didn't get up oppressed and stuff like that. Fuck out of here. But you know, whatever. Proud of something. I think of something I worked for, or that um, I yeah I had to get. I, I had... but uh, at one point too, like. I cannot be mad at her for, you know, being proud to be white, though. You feel me? She, if she's proud to be white, you know, go for it. You feel me? Because I'm proud to be black. I wouldn't, like, want to be anything else than black, though. Do nothing to be white. Absolutely nothing. And nothing was taken from me because I was white. It's like saying I'm a proud white person is a completely different saying than saying I'm a proud black person. Because when you hear I'm a proud black person, I think empowerment, I think strength, I think courage, I think, you know, all these amazing things that the black community has done and accomplished throughout the years. But then when you say I am a strong, or I'm a proud white person, already there's so much like hate yeah. involved in that. The thing about that is like, like how you said, someone who says I'm proud to be black, that's empowerment. Why aren't I allowed to be proud to be white? What makes it wrong? Well, what, yo, what are you proud of? Just your skin color? Because yes, that is wrong. So you're so saying I, I can't be proud to be white because I don't have a culture? No, I, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I, that I, when white people say they're proud to be white, a lot of times, at least in my opinion, they're just they're talking about their skin color, that they're not a different race. I think that's wrong. Yeah. But um, as like we were talking about, as a proud black person, they've been oppressed that a lot of their culture was stolen from them. And a lot of the reasons that I don't like proud to be white is because it has the the Nazis used it. The, the, the KKK used it. I don't want to be associated with any of those things. So I'm just going to completely stay away from that. Sure, oh, I'm not proud of like what my culture has done. But I'm at the same time, like, I would not want to be anything else. If I had to choose another race, I don't know what I would be. I'm okay with where I am, even though I'm getting backlash about being white. Food questions? I was waiting on the food question. You like Starbucks? How like you're vegan? You're like. Anyways, guys, that's all for today. And, um, so I guess like most of them think the same, but whatever, you know just a few white people from a bunch you know but you know shout out to the white people and stuff so um see you in the next episode and don't forget to subscribe i don't see no competition i'm like mj spread away i be bringing old school magic like shaquille and hardaway if you really talking practice like i'm wearing number three because you look like i'm a